Jeannie and John Alcott welcome you to Word of Power broadcast today. This message can equip and empower you to achieve and receive what God has for you. We believe by the end of this teaching and time of prayer, you will feel the power of God in a greater way. You'll sense how near He is and how He desires to help you. As God's presence and anointing touches you, receive the miracles and answers waiting for you. We encourage you to contact us at the end of this broadcast. Jeannie and John are ready to pray in faith over your life. Now, receive a word of power. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. This is Jeannie Alcott. Have you ever had something put in your safekeeping? That means someone entrusted you with keeping an item or a person safe. Or maybe they told you a secret or gave you some knowledge about something and they felt it was secure with you. If something is in our safekeeping, that means we must be careful to guard it. You know how careful we are with our resources and money and those things that are important to us. We want them to be secure. But we must also be that way concerning what's happening in the spirit, not just in the natural. There are so many things our enemy, the devil, wants to get his hands on. So when he sends thoughts or fears or torment to try to get us to give up the safekeeping of our lives, it's because he knows if he can just get an opening then he can flood us with harmful or disconcerting events. We open the door, so to speak. So our thinking or emotions are not in safekeeping at that point, and that's where he wants us, where our guard is down, and he can do his work against us. So make sure you put yourself in safekeeping. That means you're putting the care and protection of your life in the hands of God and keeping it there where it's safe, where you can be the most productive, where you can be guarded against the bad trying to come. Be careful there isn't an open door. And God will give you discernment to know when there can be a breach that's an opening that Satan can use to send a flood against you. This is what a woman saw happen for her family. There was a mishap that happened one night, but you know, as believers, we can expect to be in God's safekeeping even when we have mishaps in this natural world. This happened one night when this mother was putting her eight-year-old daughter to bed. She had gone into her bedroom to hear her say her prayers. Well, when the girl prayed, one of the things she said was, Jesus, lock the doors if they haven't been locked. Well, her mother kind of got a chuckle out of that. She thought what an unusual thing for her girl to say. She didn't think much about it, but the next morning, when she opened the front door, she found the house keys had been forgotten in the front door and were outside in the lock. She knew then God's Spirit had moved on her daughter to pray so they would be in safekeeping. The enemy would not be able to see the keys and open the door. That's because they were secured supernaturally by God. God can supernaturally secure your life. Just put yourself in His safekeeping. Now, it isn't that the enemy won't send something against you. You can count on that. But you can also count on the fact that God is there to safeguard you. As you pray a prayer as basic and simple as that girl did, God will move in all of his spiritual might to help you. The flood of what the enemy is sending will be stopped. God will raise up his power to operate against the power of the enemy. He gives you discernment, just as he did to that small girl, so you know how to pray and put yourself in safekeeping. There was another person who had God reveal to their spirit it was time to lock the door. But this person was born many years before that girl was. It was the prophet Elisha. We're given this amazing story of what he did in 2 Kings chapter 6. It was when he had foretold there would be a siege on the city of Samaria by their enemy. Because the people couldn't go out of the city and nothing could come into it, there was going to be a very serious famine. It would be so bad that food prices would be astronomical. Just one bowl of greens from the field would cost five shekels. Now, some experts say that today one shekel would be around $15, so that would have been around $75 for a bowl of greens. It's showing us how people couldn't even buy groceries because the supply wasn't there. And the king of Samaria became so upset at the plight of the people and how they were calling to him for help that he began to blame Elisha. So he made a vow that he was going to have his head removed from his shoulders. He was the one who had prophesied this, and executing him would be justified. See, the king was so far from God, he failed to realize that the prophet wasn't the problem. But in fact, he was the answer, the one who could pray for God to help the conditions. Well, when the king made this vow, the prophet was sitting at home meeting with some of the officials of the land. 
All of a sudden, God warned Elisha that the king was sending someone to execute him. So he did the same thing that girl did when she prayed for the doors of their house to be secured. He said to those around him, Do you know that this murderer, referring to the king, has just now sent a man to take off my head? Look, when the executioner arrives, shut the door and lock it. Don't I even now hear the footsteps of his master behind him? He was saying the executioner was on his way and the king was right behind him. But the enemy can send whatever he wants against us. When we put ourselves in the safekeeping of God, the door is shut to him, locked, and he cannot trespass. So the prophet was saved from the evil the king had intended. The executioner was shut out. Then when the king came right after the one he had sent to harm Elisha, the prophet opened the door to him. That's because he now had a prophecy to give. He said that within 24 hours, the siege would be over and there would be plenty to eat. Now all of a sudden, a shekel would buy a whole lot more. And it came about just as God said. But had the prophet not been in safekeeping, he would never have been able to see the day of victory from God. Put yourself in safekeeping. Secure the front door, the front door of your life. Don't have it ajar, not even a small opening. How do you do that? How does that translate to your everyday life? How are the ways that we can unlock the door and take ourselves out of safekeeping? Simply this, if we shut the door to God, we open it to the enemy. So if we shut the door to his presence being in our life, then we're not in safekeeping. If we don't follow his ways and obey his word, we are not safeguarded. We are wide open to whatever the enemy wants to flood into our life. For instance, if we don't follow God's way in forgiving others, we open the door to a flood of emotional pain and separation. If we don't shut the door to temptation, the flood of temptation takes over. It's the same if we don't take care of our health. We open the door to sickness and disease. If we don't safeguard our finances and also give to God, instead of being flooded by blessings, we'll be flooded by need. If we don't raise our kids according to God's word and safeguard their minds and hearts, the door is open to their turning from God. You know how this type of thing works. If you're human, you've experienced something where you saw how you didn't put yourself in safekeeping and therefore experienced a disappointment or trouble. We know Satan will send the problems, just as sure as that king was sending someone to cause trouble for the prophet. But as we have spent time in God's presence, he will give us discernment of how to lock the door, put ourselves in safekeeping so we're safeguarded. If we have an open door, we can be guaranteed the devil will send the flood in to wreak havoc. When you put yourself in safekeeping, you are kept safe. You can overcome and stop the flood the enemy sends. You stop his progress by making sure you're in safekeeping. Okay, I know this hasn't been a jump up and down type of teaching. You're probably not going around right now saying, praise God. But let me tell you, if you will hear the words from the message of the Spirit of God this day, you are going to realize so much greater peace and joy. That's when the miracles can really come, when you're in the safekeeping of God. So hear His word this day and receive discernment of how you can put yourself in safekeeping so you stop the flood of troubles or pain or failure. Let's do it now as we pray. Father God, by your very power that you have given us, we shut the door to any opening the enemy can use against my friend. He is shut out. They are in your safekeeping and therefore he cannot have his way anymore. He can't flood them with frustrations or need or discouragement. We overcome his efforts to cause them to fail or to think they can't measure up. They know who they are in you. They are the one that you have called your angels to protect, to bless, to raise up and promote and give favor upon them. They are the one you have called upon your power to stop the works of the enemy and have your mighty works be displayed in their life. For that's what they will see, the mighty works of God displayed. So we thank you for how the enemy is shut out this day, and great opportunities and blessing and miracles are open to my friend. We praise you for this. In the name of Jesus, amen. You are going into safekeeping. And when you're in that place in God, oh my goodness, so much is open to you. So much good can happen. 
and the door is shut on the bad. So we're here to pray for you to enter into that divine safekeeping. God has anointed us to intercede for you, to send his protection and blessing around you. So share with us how you want to see his safekeeping happen. As soon as we hear from you, I lay my hands on what you share and we pray and intercede. We also write to you. The reason we do that is because the Holy Spirit imparts words to us that need to be imparted into your heart. So get in touch soon. Now, we're coming into such an important time. All believers, be praying with me. This is because we're introducing Jesus Christ to the one who doesn't know him. If you are that person, my husband John is coming now to show you how your life is about to change. You can have the promise of eternal life in heaven, but also you can walk in the good plans that God has for you now as you are forgiven. So here's John. Dear friend, God loved you so much that he gave his one and only son, Jesus, that by believing in him, anyone can have eternal life. God is a good God and has a wonderful plan for your life. You see, God did not send his son to point the finger at everyone, but to put everyone right with him. You may have just tuned in to the broadcast and God is prompting you on the inside to receive him. Give your life to him and see how outstanding He can make your life. Let's pray to receive Him. Just say these words after me from your heart to God. I believe in your Son, Jesus, that He paid the penalty for my sins and purchased a place in heaven for me. I receive you now. Forgive me for my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, we're so excited for what you just did. You have eternal life and so many good things that God has for you. You can walk into those. So be sure you pray to Him, read His Word, and go to a Bible-based church and keep hearing my messages. Also, get in contact with us. We want to pray for you and send you some materials to minister to you. We can't wait to hear from you. All right, here's our spiritual power line. Go around saying these words of power and believe for them to come to pass in your life. This is why God gives us a spiritual power line because he knows the power of it in the spiritual realm. So go around saying, I have the victory. I have the victory. Praise God, you can have the victory. That's what he's ordained for you. And we want to help you receive it. So be sure to get a copy of this message. We'll send you all five parts of it and the prayer times. Just request, hold back the flood. This is what God shows you how to do in this message. Hold back the flood that the enemy sends. This is offer number AM815. That's 815. You can have a CD of it for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can download it from our website for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to our alcopministries.org website. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries dot O-R-G. Be sure to join me tomorrow on Friday. God has so much he wants to do in your life. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We believe God's Spirit is moving in a mighty way. So don't miss the opportunity for Jeannie and John to pray over your life in a personal way. As you share with them, they will intercede by faith for you to receive all God has for you. Call 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013 or go to our website at alcottministries.org that's a-l-c-o-t-t ministries.org there you can also listen to word of power broadcasts as well as request special gift offers and be blessed by devotionals now we encourage you to get a copy of this message and give a gift into god's work then expect him to grow your giving into wonderful miracles be with us next time for a word of power.